Which girl would you rather date? Jessica or Anastasia? Jessica is a basic she posts ass pictures on Instagram and goes to the club but tells you that you can't tell her what to do even if you're in a committed relationship. I'm just going out to have fun with my girl. Oh, go. If a girl ever says that to you, bro, if a girl's ever doing thought and she ever says to you, I'm just going out to have fun with my girls. You're being weird. You're insecure, bro. If you have any level of respect for yourself, you get out of that situation ASAP. Whereas Anastasia was raised in the most perfect, healthy way. She knows exactly what is expected of her in a beautiful, committed relationship. She's there by your side to support you, to make you stronger, to make you more masculine and focus on your goals. But she also has high standards and expectations of you. She wants you to be a fantastic provider for her and your children. Anastasia's high expectations for her husband automatically makes you into a better man. Jessica's probably a little bit better at sucking now it's a hard decision, isn't it? Oh my god. The majority of people will choose Jessica because she's easy and she supplies more instant gratification, more pleasure right now. And quite frankly, I've lived my adult life choosing Jessica's. I think it's time to discuss how to find your trad wife. This is going to be an autistic video, but trad wife means traditional wife. I think there's certain issues with the traditional sort of gender roles, the traditional role that if we can overcome, that we can have the best, healthiest, masculine, feminine polarity in a relationship, like the most serious, beautiful relationship that we could have. First of all, let's talk about the idea of actually having a wife because if you're watching this chances are you've stumbled upon those internet communities that say that you should never get married you should never get married it's a risk it she'll take half your money and trust me when i say that i have had that same mindset for all of my adult life so you may be watching this and thinking wait how to get a wife this guy's blue pill trust me when i say bro i have fully ingrained like the red pill into my personality i have some of the most top written posts of like red pill i have some of the most like popular red pill videos i know what the fuck i'm talking about with this i've been on this shit for like seven years and i'm still telling you right now we were wrong with this if you think that every woman's gonna cheat on you that you know marriage it, it, like you know you shouldn't be married you're gonna go about your relationships in the incredibly wrong way and it's gonna be a self-fulfilling prophecy where you literally end up meeting more jessicas because the anastasias of the world will not be with you if you don't plan to get married in fact those women will probably not even have sex with you before marriage so by saying oh well i'm not gonna get married well congratulations you've just disqualified all of the anastasias of the world go enjoy your jessica and trust me bro other guys will enjoy your jessica too <laughs> if that's what you want go ahead Head cucked. So what is a trad wife? Because it's kind of like an autistic term. Chances are you maybe idolize the sort of, you know, traditional gender roles from a hundred years ago that the woman nurtures, the man provides. And that really is what my mindset has been like up until I've had this new idea. I'm not certain on this either. Maybe I'm not the best person to ask, but I'll, I'll just try and give you my like viewpoint on all this. And I think that if you have a woman who has nothing but you in mind that is fantastic for your ego and your sense of security with the life that i personally want to live with a certain level of like hmm <laughs> i need to do some journaling bro don't listen to me bro i'm fucking clueless when it comes to relationships i just keep fucking jessica's if there's any anastasia's watching this hit me up man so a trad wife a traditional wife is a woman who understands the masculine and feminine polarity and polarity just kind of means like the opposites so men and women we are supposed to be more like opposites than we are equal it's like a very weird modern day dynamic that we're saying that men and women are equal because the masculine and the feminine are polar opposite energies and so i can tell you what the traditional wife will be like but the truth is we need to first start with you the most clear way to figure out how to get your ideal wife is to simply just put yourself in her shoes and think okay what is she looking out for what is she attracted to and this is where that sort of like modern day you go king just sleep with loads of girls and this is coming from a guy who followed this advice right so you're hearing advice from a guy who went down the male slut pathway i'm telling you right now that if you want like a good wife if you want like a great mother for your children i'm telling you right now the same to yourself like oh you know but you know men can sleep around because men are like the key and, and women can't sleep around because women are like the lock and look, bro i'm telling you right now the best women will not get with you if they know that you have been a slut. It's as simple as that. All of these guys online, fresh and fit, all of these fucking like red pillars and you know, these kings and stuff, they'll disagree. But look at the women that they surround themselves with. Is any one of them like a trad wife? They, they, they all pay for sex. They've all got like these fucking whores around them. They've got like these Miami, like little Instagram thoughts. Yeah, they sleep with like plastic girls. Congratulations, you're a plastic guy. If they are Jessica's, then these men are Jeffrey's. If that's the life that you want, you want some pleasure. You want some girls that you don't even respect, you don't even like, but you can just have sex with them. <laughs> if that's what you want, bro, trust me when I say I wanted that too. I've pursued that life. I'm on the other side and I'm telling you, bro, it's not that great. It's really not that great. As I'm getting older and specifically as I'm getting more successful, I'm thinking more about having children in like the most effective way. Like I want to give my children the best life possible. Ask yourself this question right now. It's kind of obvious, but ask yourself this question. What is the one single most important decision in your life? The woman that you have children with. That is the most important decision that you will ever make. The woman that you choose to have children with. This is 
why it's so important as a young man to already be thinking about the kind of wife that you want to have children with and it needs it honestly needs to be a wife you need to get married for this now you might say or even younger Hamza from just a couple of months ago might say wait wait wait, wait. marriage isn't good because most marriages end in divorce and most marriages are sexless and you know if you divorce then she'll take half your money but the truth is let's say 99% of marriages are bad and 1% are like you know loving and beautiful and so like connecting and they stay together for so long even when they're 80 years old they're still like fucking in public and stuff right that's the kind of like long-term relationship that we'd all like but we just don't think it's realistic because maybe one percent of marriages are like that do you want to be part of the 99 percent anyway so yeah the majority of marriages break up but it's like did you consider yourself to be a normal average person because when i think of this statistic and it's like a false it's like a made-up statistic for me just saying okay one percent of marriages are like perfect one percent of marriages stay together they, they, they stay having sex they, they don't get divorced they're very very loving and they're still like sort of polarized even 10 50 years later i think okay one percent of marriages are going to be like that well bro i'm in the one percent i'm striving for the one percent are you the spots open for every man who wants to try getting to the top 1% of men is not difficult Anyone who tells you otherwise is fucking lying to you getting to the top 1% of men is not that difficult There's a hundred guys beat 99 of them 90% of guys don't exercise at all There's a hundred guys being the best one is not that difficult Okay, when we start saying there's 10,000 guys a hundred thousand guys a million guys That's when it starts getting difficult But out of a hundred go walk past a hundred men right now in your street Go walk past a hundred men visualize a hundred men that you walk past You're telling me that you can't be the best one totally up to your control to be in the top 1% and that's in terms of like you know being in the top one percent of men in terms of smv and so if you can be in the top one percent of men in like terms of smv success attractiveness physique and everything then why can't you be in the top one percent of marriages because all of the advice all of the knowledge the data the wisdom is out there there's like 500 very high quality podcasts that literally teach you exactly what it takes to make a marriage successful that literally teach you exactly what it takes to make a marriage break up in divorce what if you and your future wife what if you and like the girl that you're seriously dating go through all 500 what if both of you you and your future wife what if you read like 50 books on on marriage beforehand and if your future wife isn't reading them and you know she's like oh well this is boring i don't care i want to go out to the club well bro clearly that's not the right woman then is it because if you set this as your goal you'll naturally just do the actions that will start to make you eligible for it like it's such a dark mindset when you think about what this like sort of modern day red pill men go in their own like i think periods of men go in their own way is very important i wouldn't call it that but you know periods of like monk mode where you're not thinking about girls i think that's very very important in young men because we have to build ourselves up but this sort of modern day sort of like red pill you know women are sluts and like you should treat them like that and you shouldn't date them seriously and never get married and then women are thinking this too women are thinking men ain't shit like we, we don't need men i, I don't need a man Bro, both sides are fucking depressed. Why would you want to be part of these groups? Both sides are fighting against each other, making like mean TikToks about the opposite sex. Whereas the 1% of healthy people are getting married and like actually enjoying their lives. Now again, we don't want to be like 99% of couples who aren't even like sexually attracted to each other anymore and who are like lazy together, who don't even like each other, who are insulting each other. We don't want to be like them, but we never wanted to be like the 99% anyway. So picture right now, your perfect woman and it needs to be your perfect woman. Looks is very important, by the way. I know maybe you expected me to say like, you know, personality is all that matters. I said this to my friend Nabil and we both agreed. You need to find a woman who you think is absolutely beautiful. If you lower your standards and say like, oh, you know, well, yeah, Margaret's okay, you know, like bro, if you don't think she's beautiful, then it's not gonna work. You need to have the kind of woman that you actually want to show off, that you're so proud with, that you're constantly want to like take pictures off, that you think is like so fucking gorgeous. You need to have that and she needs to feel the same way about you. Women do generally care less about attractiveness than men. That's been proven in like studies and everything. Maybe not so much in like younger target audiences, but especially as you get into like your mid twenties and more things like confidence and success and like character play a big part in dating. You both need to set extremely high standards. So if you picture your perfect woman, maybe you write some things down about her. What does she look like? What what is exactly your type that drives you fucking insane? That you like literally would think that she would still be sexy fifty years from now. Write about her character, her values. Like really journal these things down. There's an audio book I really really like. It's it's not so much about this topic, but it's called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. And he's talking about setting goals and he says that he set a goal to find his wife. And he says that he wrote 40 pages 40, four zero pages about his wife before he even had met her. So he just kind of visualized and he wrote everything, how she would interact with like shopkeepers and waitresses, what she looked like, how she would dress, the hobbies that she's into, the thoughts that she would have, the goals and aspirations, the fears. He wrote everything about her. When you're so clear on your goal like that, and if you're into goal setting, you know what's gonna happen. When you are so clear with a goal like that, you end up fucking hitting the goal. You end up meeting that woman. Right now, our idea of like the perfect wife is so vague in 
our mind, we just kind of think, yeah, she's a, she's a traditional and she's not a thought and she's attractive. But bro, that's way too vague. Exactly what does she look like? Like exactly what are you attracted to? You should set high standards for this. A lot of people will disagree with me and they'll say like, oh no, well, you don't need to think about attractiveness. Like personality is the only thing that matters. I feel like I'm one of the few people that tell you today, like attractiveness is incredibly important, especially in this modern day, especially in like the social media era. Hopefully when you find your wife, you're both not so active on social media because that seems to cause like a lot of breakups. But you need to be with a woman that you entirely think is so fucking like sexy and beautiful because if you're not, your eyes are gonna start to wander. And that would be such like a painful experience to like you know share your life with this woman and constantly be like looking over and thinking oh i wish i could have sex with that girl over there and this one and this one and this one best case scenario you're walking through somewhere with your woman and you're literally looking at her thinking like god i can't wait to have sex with her later like all these other women walking past you they're, they're fucking nothing bro they're not anesthesia so do that practice right now if you want this video to help you and you're not being like a little like if you're a little bitch click on a different video but if you want this video to help you use this as like an actionable step literally it should take you like hours it should take you hours go and journal absolutely everything that you can think about that you want with your wife i'm gonna do this today as well then once you have this list ask yourself okay you've got a fantastic picture of this woman what does she want what is she attracted to imagine this woman that you wrote about imagine she does the same practice but for her husband what is she writing down because if this woman is as great as you think she is she would have high standards so is she gonna write oh yeah well i really hope he's watching red pill i really hope he's watching fresh and fit podcast i really hope he's sleeping with a, a bunch of thoughts right now because you know men are like the key and if the key opens a lot of locks it's a good lock but it, it, if the women are like a lot like, is she gonna be writing that or is she gonna be thinking Yep, I'm religious. I don't sleep around. I want to find a man who's like that too. I want to find a man who's very similar to my father, who is incredibly noble, full of integrity. Of course she's going to have those kind of values, isn't she? This is really, really worth doing because again, the most important decision that you will make is the woman to have children with. The most important purpose for you as a young man is to become the best father that you can. Everything else that we do is somewhat leading up to that. Now, there are some people who say, you know, I don't want to have children and stuff, fair enough. But chances are, bro, being a father, like being the best father that that you could be being the kind of father that you really needed when you were a little boy because you know our fathers like they tried being the father that you needed when you were a little boy who understood like mental health unconditional love and support that's the most fulfilling thing that we could do and all of the other things like you know fitness and building our body and discipline and everything that's to fuel us as fathers it's really worth the intention to do this this may be one of the most important videos if you have a similar personality to me and you think okay this is probably the most important thing in your life is like finding the right woman to have children with this is literally worth spending hours days weeks on clarify who it is that you really 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 want to be with and then think in her shoes and ask yourself okay what does she want now generally the trad wife image is a woman who's traditional and so you'd expect her to have like a fantastic family life she will value family extremely highly she will be looking for a man who also does not only for the family you guys will make together but for your family how you are with your mother your siblings your father so how are you with your family do you just lock yourself in your room on your fucking crusty back computer chair watching hamza videos when was the last time you told your mom that you love her when was the last time you hugged one of your family members the trad wife that you want she's probably like very generous and very very kind-hearted and she would want that in a man too have you done positive acts for your community recently have you gave back to people have you been a charitable person or are you not at that stage of life just yet there's literally a hundred different questions that you could ask yourself here you know what the beautiful thing about this is generally online you'll be given the same advice by everyone every single person will tell you the exact same thing which is like no don't do anything for women don't do anything for women do it all for yourself king i fucking hate that advice bro do it all for yourself don't think about girls at all i don't do it for girls i do it for myself everyone will say that to you bro I'm, the, I'm like, I feel like I'm the one person who says, no, I do it for girls. Of course I do. Of course I do. Of course I'm improving myself to like, to attract my future. Of course I am. What's wrong with saying that? Bro, a hundred years ago, men said that with some fucking pride that they were working hard even before they had found their wife just because they wanted to be at a good level when they found us have children in like a very like safe and secure way. But in the modern day, like we're supposed to be kings. Well, a king needs a fucking queen. Openly admit to yourself of how important this is to you. Don't let these little internets fucking, like these teenagers or these like, you know, they're 20 years old, but they still act like teenagers. Like you go king, you don't need women. <laughs> like, oh, I'm 
I'm just doing it for my- No, you're not, bro. No, you're not. There is one huge desire that we have inside of us. There is one main desire. What is it? Any dumbass knows. What is the biggest desire that we have as an animal to reproduce? The majority of things that we do go towards fueling our desire to reproduce. We as humans, as like intellectuals, we understand, okay, reproducing is best done in a marriage. It's best done in like a stable family home. We understand these things. And so our mind automatically, our mind, our body, our brain, our soul automatically know, okay, improve yourself so that you can attract a person who is like the other half of you who will also bring that safe security into the home so that you can raise children in the best way. You have that huge desire inside of you, tap into it. And the beautiful part about literally setting this goal, this high standard for your wife to be like a trad wife, if that's like, you know, a specific thing that you want, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a trad wife or whatever, like, you know, high standards you write down, you want this, you want this, you want this, you want a woman who's like this. You set these high standards. Well, the truth is, bro, you're gonna become a better man by doing that anyway. Because the type of woman that, okay, you've set some high standards, you've wrote down, okay, this woman's amazing. She's like this, she's like this, she's like this. She's gonna be a fantastic mother. Well, the things that she she would want in a man, if you use them as your goals, you will automatically become a way better man. Oh, but don't do things for women. Shut the fuck up. Bro, the next time someone tells that to you, just think to yourself like, that is a total and utter teenager. That's a bitch. That's literally like a little bitch. Women ain't shit. Like, I don't need women. <laughs> I don't do things for women. I just lift weights for myself. Shut the fuck up. Tell them to shut the fuck up next time. Tell them that they're a little Jeffrey. They don't even understand that they have this desire to attract the opposite sex. You set these high standards for the woman that you want. Then you think about what she wants and you use these as your goals. By using these as your goals, not only will you start to move past the initial kind of self-improvement red pill goals of like, yeah, make money, become fit and stuff. This is when you'll start to really think about like some top tier stuff. Because this woman, this high quality woman, she's not just thinking, oh, well, I hope he's 10% body fat and I hope he's really rich. She's gonna be thinking about like character traits, the type of shit that's like, it's not like a sexy video on YouTube, but it's like, she's gonna be thinking, yes, I want a man who's noble. So then you'll go and read a book on how to be more noble. She'll say, I want a man who's humble. Then you'll read a book on how to be more humble in your practice. And like, you're, you're becoming like a man of fucking character. This is how men have always developed themselves through all of our ancestors. Every single one of them developed themselves to attract the wife that they wanted. Just picture like the, the knight, the warrior. Imagine how they would have like responded towards the woman that they wanted. They literally would have like said to her like, oh yeah, I'll do anything for you. Here is a flower, my lady. And they'll go fight. They'll literally risk fucking death for her. And these days we just make fucking red pill videos. Like women ain't shit. Shut the fuck up, bro. If this is what you want, if you can imagine, okay, this is one of your most important goals. Take it seriously. You can subscribe to our channel if you want to. Welcome to the cult. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.